Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and this is The Simplistic Home. And in today's video, it was actually one that was requested from a follower. So I was asked to do a drugstore makeup haul and I decided that instead of doing the haul, I'm just gonna do a get ready with me with all drugstore makeup. So I do use all drugstore products I have for years now. Um, probably several years ago, I used to use Bare Minerals products. So, um, but I ended up not using those anymore just because honestly I go through the mineral powder really quickly and I got tired of spending like the $30 or whatever it is. I know that's on the cheaper end compared to most like higher end and like better makeup products, but still if I could save my money and still get the same look that I want to achieve with drugstore products, then I'm going to go ahead and switch over to that, which is exactly what I did. But I do want to let you guys know that um, I have already like showered. There's absolutely nothing on my face. I have no moisturizer or, moisturizer or anything like that. Um, so there's that. But also wanted to let you guys know, put in a disclaimer here. I in no way, shape or form am a makeup artist or know all the ins and outs of makeup products. Absolutely not. So this is just a simple everyday look that I do and it's all drugstore products and I'll be honest I'm probably using some of these incorrectly but this is just how I do it to get the look that I want to achieve so no judgment but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this and I'll, I'll probably chat a little bit with you guys just so I can talk about the product and I'll tell you the shade and all of those good things so let's go ahead and get the makeup on okay so this first thing that I use is Maybelline New York. It is Master Prime and it's just the primer base in 050. If you guys can see that. Um, so I've used this for a while and like I said, I don't put moisturizer on my face like after I get out of the shower or anything. If I'm about to put makeup on, I do put moisturizer on at night like before I go to bed and things like that. But um, all I do is just put like a little pea size in my like on my fingertips and rub it together. And then I just pat it into my face, rub it all in. And like I said, there's a good chance I'm using these incorrectly, but I'm just showing you how I do it to achieve a simple everyday look. So kind of let that dry just a little bit. And then I go in with this NYX. So it is Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. Um, it is in the shade pale light. So it says that it lasts up to eight hours. So there's that um, I will say this is a lot lighter than my skin tone Which as you guys can see I'm already super pale to begin with But um, I just like to have something underneath of my mineral powder. Like I said, I don't use liquid foundation I just use mineral powder and it tends to get a little dry and I kind of have dry skin anyway So I like to have something like this underneath and it just helps to hold up the powder a little better So again, I just put a little bit of this on my fingertip just like pea size just like that and then I just go ahead rub that in and if you guys see me looking over here it's because my mirror is over here so just FYI but I do the same thing I just like pat that around my face and then I blend it in with my fingers So one thing that I really like about that product is that it's not like super sticky or anything like that, especially when you don't use a whole lot, like it's not heavy or anything. I don't like, I think that's one of the reasons why I don't like liquid foundation for me is because it seems, it just seems heavy and probably because I never tried like a good brand. <laughs> but anyway, I just, I don't know. I just don't think my skin can breathe as well. So I've pretty well always used mineral powder. So now that that is drying and about dry like I said it doesn't take very long uh, so this is just a cap from I don't know let's see it was some Maybelline foundation or like mineral powder that I didn't end up liking but I've always put my mineral powder in a cap like this so this is the mineral powder that I use it is L'Oreal Paris true match mineral so it looks like that they have all different shades this is in the shade Natural Ivy, or Ivory, sorry. I don't know if you guys can see that well or not. 
anyway natural ivory is the shade so all I did was just go ahead and put some of that in here and then this cap just comes off the brush stays connected to the container and all I do is just twirl it in there tap it off if there's usually a ton of excess to this so it does take me a minute to get all of that okay so that's all I got left on there you'll probably see the powder just shoot up everywhere but anyway I normally just start on my cheek and just roll it on So surprisingly, I don't have many breakouts right now. I normally don't break out too bad, but it seems like I'll get something on my chin on occasion or whatever. But um, anyway, so I didn't have to put a whole lot on there. And like I said, I'm already pretty pale, so um, I don't self tan or anything like that. But so yeah, so all I do is just put that on. So that's like my foundation. Um, the next thing I do is put some bronzer on. So this is, I don't even know what brand this is. Okay, so this is L'Oreal as well. True Match Lumi Bronze It. I don't know, it says Sun Kissed Bronzer for Face and Body. And big surprise, I got this on clearance. So I get a lot of things on clearance. So this is in the shade Light and it's the 01. Um, I have had this for a while. I use it all the time. And then I just use it with this Eco Tools brush. There's no number or anything on it. This probably isn't even for blood or for a bronzer. I don't know. Like I said, I just use whatever gets the job done. <laughs> but I do the same thing. I just tap it in there, hit it off, and just go in. So I already have like pretty high cheekbones anyway, but I do like to add a little bit extra just cause why not? I think it looks really pretty. But um, then I go ahead and just use the same bronzer like around my like forehead and I'll put a little bit on my nose and whatnot as well. Is it for the bronzer the next thing I go in with is some highlighter I don't use a whole lot of highlighter just because I don't know I'm already so pale and I just I don't know I just don't use a whole lot of it but anyway um so this is the elf brand in the shade moonlight pearls I don't know if you guys can really tell what that says I don't think it's gonna focus anyway and this is also an elf brush Again, no clue. This probably is not the right brush to use, but whatever, it's what I use to get it done. So I just tap a little bit on there and I'll put a little bit on my cheek, a little bit on my chin, right there. And that's pretty well all I do with that. Honestly, it probably doesn't even make that big of a difference, but oh. <laughs> 
Okay, so the next thing to finish off my face is my blush. So I left um, like a questionnaire over on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me over there. It's just the simplistic home. But anyway, um, I had ran out of my e.l.f. blush. I'd had it for a while, it seemed like. And I finally ran out and a lot of people recommended this one to me. So it's Maybelline New York Fit Me. Um, it's in the shade mauve so they did have several different shades to choose from but i really like this one i think it's pretty and yeah so um, i'm going in with this sonia kashuk brush it's just like a i don't even know what this is called you guys you see I'm not very educated in the makeup department but anyway so i just go ahead and tap that in there tap a little bit of it off and just put it on my cheeks Okay, so this might seem kind of strange, but I, so I used to wear eyeshadow and eyeliner like every day, like that was part of my day-to-day -day look, but I, like honestly for the past, I don't even know, three, four years now, I just quit wearing it. So for my eyes, I only do mascara and then I'll fill in my brows. Other than that, I don't do anything else. And I, I've tried recently, just to like play with it a little bit and still do like neutral colors and things like that. But I don't know, I just, it just didn't feel like me and I almost felt like heavy or something. I don't know, I just didn't like it. So I just keep it super simple and minimal because that's the way I like to look. And um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows first. So this is just the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. It looks like this. Um, this is in the shade dark brown and brown. So there's two different shades in here. Don't judge the way this looks. It's it's a hot mess. But anyway, um, that's what it looks like. So this is like a gel and then there's the dark brown and the light brown there. So I use the dark brown because obviously I have dark hair. So um, it comes with a little spoolie and then also like an eyebrow powder brush. So I just go ahead and do this real quick. And my eyebrows are super thin. like. Honestly, I can get away with like not waxing them at all for an entire year. I just kind of pluck the random hairs other than that. <laughs> I don't know, they've kind of always been that way. Like I maybe will wax them once a year, maybe. And that's if like there's desperate need and that's super rare. So um, I guess that's kind of good. But at the same time, like you guys can tell, like they're a little bit thicker here and then they end pretty thin. And I don't really like, I don't want to draw them on and just, I don't know, I just feel like it wouldn't go with my face or anything, but anyway, so yeah, I just go ahead and um, bring this fully through like you guys just saw, and then like I said, I'm using the, the wax and then the dark brown, so go ahead and do that next. Once that's done, I go ahead and just bring the spoolie back through. That way it kind of brings all the product through. There you go. Doesn't take me long to do my brows at all because there's not much there to work with. <laughs> okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do as far as makeup goes is this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. So I have used this one forever. I wish this would focus a little better. I don't know if you guys can even see what that says. But anyway, um, I really like this one because I love the brush. So I'm really picky about my brushes and I like the thick brush and I like that it has all of the, um, I don't know, like all the texture on it to kind of just help pull the product through. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use next. And I always like to put the mascara um, on the top first and I do it like like that, and then I'll go through it and pull it up. Okay, 
So here's the final result as far as face goes. I still gotta put some lip on, but um, yeah, like you guys saw, super simple. I don't use a lot of products at all. I just use what I like, use what works for me to get the look that I want to achieve. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, put some lip liner on, fill it in, and we should be good to go. So the lip liner that I use, let's see. Guys, I don't know the brand of any of this stuff. Just know that it works. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is Milani. It's like really small now because I use it so much. But anyway, it's in the shade Nude. Um, it is the Color Statement Lip Liner, True Instant Color. And it says, long wearing, easy glide formula to line and fill. So, looks like this. And also I will leave all of this link down below because I realize it's not focusing very well and you guys can't really get the true picture of the product. So everything I'm using today will be linked down below if you're interested in trying it out. Okay, so I do have a paper towel here. I'm just gonna go ahead and like wipe my lips off because I don't like having all the powder and all of that stuff on there. Okay, so did that. So anyway, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and use this first. So anyway, like the rest of my face, I like to keep it just really subtle and well blended. So next thing I'm gonna go in with, I absolutely love this stuff and it is so cheap, like less than $5. It is Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick and it is Wet n Wild brand. So. Um, this is the shade Rebel Rose. I love a good, just like neutral colored um, lip and really just neutral in general. I have tried like actual nudes and I think it just washes me out because I'm already so pale. So I do like to have just a slight bit of color and you guys will see once this is on, it's just a pretty like mauve kind of tone. Um, I don't know, I just feel like those go well with my skin tone. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on now. Okay, you guys. That is literally all that I do for my full face of makeup. <laughs> like I said, I don't wear anything on my eyes except for mascara and then I just fill in my brows as far as like this part goes. Um, everything else is just kept super simple and that's just the way I like it. That's how I feel my best and I just don't like to have a whole lot on. So anyway, um, again, I know I am absolutely no professional so it's okay if you pointed out so many flaws in this video. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the drugstore products that I use because like I said, somebody did reach out and asked if I would do that. So here you have it. But um, anyway, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.